Hello and welcome back everybody. It has been a minute since I've been able to do one of these and I appreciate all of you for sticking around and being here with me. Now with that said, let's dive right into what's been going on with Flesh and Blood on this fabulous Friday. So Flesh and Blood's Heavy Hitter set has come out officially. Everybody has played the pre-release and had a lot of fun from what I can see. Unfortunately, I was not able to make it out to any pre-releases. But I have seen the cards. I have seen gameplays. It looks phenomenal. I haven't checked the proxy website for people that haven't been able to buy cards and see if they're updated. But they're normally updated about 10 days after the set finally launches in full. So keep your eye on that if you're wanting to be able to print proxies and kind of look into how your deck will play with some of those cards before you drop the funds on them. So that's a, that's a good help for people. I'll drop a link in that in the comments down or in the description down below. Also, with that being said, I want to dive into something special that we have going on on my end. And that is we are starting to put together a PvE format for you guys. Uh, one of the guys that has been on our live streams with us actually challenged me to create a format that I think would be fitting and have a very interesting type of gameplay. It is still in early phases. We hope to get it into your guys' hands sooner rather than later so you can give us feedback and test some things out so that we can actually make this something that is really, really fun. The way that we're going about it is to literally make it feel like a dungeon crawl at some point, like a D&D campaign in essence, but where you take your card decks and you fight through a set of scenarios. Now, starting out, these scenarios will only be one scenario until we get enough put together that you could actually do a full-length set of scenarios and you could do it however you wanted to. So there will be all different sorts of scenarios, into the forest, city, uh, guards, tavern brawl. Like I said, there'll be so much things. The hope is that we will eventually get enough sets together that you guys will be able to have someone who pilots the main decks. And that's the big thing is we have to have someone that will pilot the deck. So in essence, if anybody knows what a DM is, you will have to have a DM and they will basically be your forever DM. Now this is really important because there is gonna be a set of rules that only the DM will know and this is to keep the game from being able to be figured out very quickly, like some of the other systems that I've seen created, where people can kind of predict what they're going to do and mess with them accordingly to make sure that you are in a winning scenario. We are trying to prevent that from being the case. We're also trying to make it so that if you wanted to start out like kind of on the poor side of peasants or you know new heroes you would start off with a certain set of cards that are common and you would slowly earn more cards and equipment as you progress through your scenarios and that would be the really fun thing to do like i said we are really excited for how the system is shaping up we've only been working on it for about a week now but it just looks like a lot of fun we've had a lot of interest in it from some of our communities and so Hopefully, we'll get this into your guys' hands by end of next month is what we're really hoping, if not a little sooner, to do some playtesting. If you guys are interested in the playtest, please drop a comment down below. Let us know what's really going on, and if you guys would like to help out, we would love that. We would love to get this a little off the ground a little faster to come to really do community. Like I said, if you've listened to a lot of our live streams lately... We've been a lot about community, even in competitive and casual play. The whole point of it all is to build and foster a better community. And so that's one reason we're putting this system together is so that Flesh and Blood can foster a little bit more of a friendly community in the sense of just sitting down and playing a good game with your friends that doesn't involve being competitive versus the person you're playing, but rather against the DM himself or the environment in this case. So... We really are looking forward to all of this. We really love the fact that we're able to do this. And like I said, I'm really appreciative that you guys are still here. I know it's been a minute since I've been able to do one of these. We will be doing some more updates as time progresses. I want to do One Piece updates as well as some Lorcana updates and some Magic updates. We do have Magic pack openings coming. It'll just be a couple more days till we get there. So keep your eye on that if you guys are Magic fans. And we'll see you on the flip side.